How's it going everyone? I hope all is well. Happy summer to you all. It is hot as hell outside and surprisingly really cold in here. We've got the AC going and uh, it works really well. <laughs> uh, it's, it's pretty chilly in here. But uh, anyways, yeah. Uh, what we've got today is uh, the Obsessive Compulsive Drive by Full Tone. And this was given to me by a real cool dude named Dave, uh, who's probably the most interesting guy in the world. And as you can see, this is no ordinary uh, OCD pedal. This pedal has white knobs, and OCD pedals usually have black knobs. When I first got this pedal, I didn't notice it. Like, I was like, something looks different about these pedals. And I realized it had white knobs, and all the other pedals had black knobs. And I was like, oh. That's different, yeah. So I couldn't find a whole lot of information on this pedal, but what I did find leads me to believe that it is uh, indeed a version 1 OCD pedal. It still has the blue LED and it doesn't have the thumb screws of the later uh, models or the black arrows on it or the extra switches. And um, it also seems to sound uh, quite similar to uh, the version 1 OCD pedals. So yeah, it just seems to be a uh, version 1 with white knobs. Basically has uh, just volume, tone, drive controls, and uh, with the cool addition of a high pass and a low pass filter. Um, so for those of you who don't know, a low pass filter is pretty much uh, cuts off the high frequencies so more low bass frequencies uh, pass through. So you have that on and it'll make the tone a little bit bassier, uh, maybe a little more muffled sounding. And the high pass is exactly the opposite, so it cuts off the lows and makes it a little more trebly and a little more uh, high frequencies. Alright, so the setup today is a Bugera tri rec into a Marshall MG cabinet, SM57 into the Scarlet 18i20 interface, straight into Studio One software, and today I will be using my Gibson Les Paul Traditional Pro for the demo. So let's, uh, let's make some noise.
only thing I'd say that could be um, a downside to this pedal, possibly, depending on what your preferences are, uh, is that this pedal has a lot of low end to it. I mean like a lot. Even with the high pass filter engaged, you've got a lot of uh, bass frequencies. And uh, the tone knob uh, kind of helps you shape that stuff, but uh, it's, it's a little difficult to find it somewhere to fine tune it so there's not so much uh, bass response and that that can only be really kind of a problem if uh, you're trying to cut through the mix or something or you're trying to really have a clear distorted signal um, clear distorted signal like that makes sense <laughs> but um, yeah um, it does seem to be very bassy which can also be a good thing in its own uh, sense if you're looking for or say you have a solid state amp that sounds very thin and small and you want to get it beef it up and um, make it sound uh, got enough uh, grit and low end to it uh, but yeah definitely a cool pedal um, if you find a, one of these rare ones with white knobs you know uh, know that it is is yeah it is difficult to find alright so thanks for watching the video if you liked it uh, please uh, leave a like or a subscribe or something uh, that'd be really cool and uh, some comments too if you uh, have any uh, questions or anything um, I'd love to read them uh, so yeah uh, that's pretty much it um, got some new equipment coming uh, some more content coming for sure um, other than that uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll see you next time